It's been coming. A challenge again where I have to decide what can I get done, what can I get done. Now, devotionals, they're easy to get done, but anything else that I want to do besides devotionals, it seems as though God is either pruning or preparing me for challenges in getting all that I would like to do. And sometimes he tells me, do this or do that, and so I do. Sometimes I want to do something more, and he lets me go ahead and do it for a while, and then it seems to get tougher and tougher and tougher, and doesn't seem to be exactly what he would have me to do, so gradually I learn to reevaluate if I've overextended myself. And sometimes I just get really tired, so sometimes that's an extension too. But you know, God delights when we step out and try things. There's nothing wrong with choosing a direction that you want to go, and you think that it's a good thing, and that it's something that you have prayed about, and you've talked to the Lord about, and He's directing you, and not saying one way or the other. There's nothing wrong with stepping out and trying it and seeing if the Lord is in it. You know, there is a scripture about that, that, you know, let us step out and see if the Lord be with us, you know, and we'll go forward until we see that he's not, and then we'll go the other way. Sometimes, that's not a bad deal. <laughs> Sometimes, if you're like me, it might be just a little too much, because you go too many things. But, I don't know that yet, so we'll see. But today, God is speaking to us in a direct way, and that's through devotionals and through my utmost and in my utmost, what do you see in your clouds? Behold, he cometh with clouds. Revelation 1.7 In the Bible, clouds are always connected with God. Clouds are those sorrows or sufferings or providences with or without our personal lives, which seem to dispute the rule of God. It is by those very clouds that the Spirit of God is teaching us how to walk by faith. If there were no clouds, we should have no faith. The clouds are but the dust of our Father's feet. The clouds are a sign that He is there. What a revelation it is to know that sorrow and bereavement and suffering are the clouds that come along with God. God cannot come near without clouds. He does not come in clear shining. It is not true to say that God wants to teach us something in our trials, though every cloud it is not true to say that God wants to teach us something in our trials through every cloud he brings. He wants us to unlearn something. His purpose in the cloud is to simplify our belief until our relationship to him is exactly that of a child. God and my own soul, other people, are shadows. Until other people become shadows, clouds and darkness will be mine every now and again. Is the relationship between myself and God getting simpler than ever it has been? There is a connection between the strange providences of God and what we know of Him, and we have to learn to interpret the mysteries of life in the light of our knowledge of God. Unless we can look the darkest, blackest fact full in the face without damaging God's character, we do not yet know Him. They feared as they entered the cloud. Is there anyone save Jesus only in your cloud? If so, it will get darker. You may get to the place where there is no one anymore save Jesus only. Chambers basically is saying that in all of your life, it's not a question of just simply the cloud or, you know, the, the teaching or the learning to endure or to get through or to name it or claim it or have some fame from it, but rather it's to get to a place of simple humility, a simple meekness, a gentler trust in the Lord. Because if you can boil it all down to really the basic principle of what a Christian should be, it all goes down to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 is what a child does. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He'll direct your path and then just do whatever it is He tells you to do. Those two principles are exactly what Jesus says in all the volume of the book because it's just simply He saw what His Father was doing and He did it. That's what He said. He said, I only do those things which I see my Father in heaven doing. And so, if we would please God, if we would learn from the lesson that Chambers is trying to explain, it's that 
we come to a place sometimes through our trials, our circumstances, our situations, and our decision-making process that's trying to cause us to get out of our thought process of making everything too complicated and get it down to simple of just do or don't do. Say yes for yes and no for no. Go forward or go back. Go to the left or go to the right. Don't get complicated about what God is saying. Don't get complicated about how God speaks. Ask God and he'll speak to you. If he doesn't, he promised he would. He said, if anyone lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who prayeth now, forgive it to all men liberally. The wisdom he gives is the ability to make choices based upon the facts that are presented to you and the knowledge that you have at the time for the circumstances you're in. God customizes it for you where you're at with what you know, the way you know him. And then as you grow, he may change that understanding and that knowledge to a maturity, but at the same time it becomes more of a simplicity because you find that you can trust him in everything and all you got to do is ask. So when you get to the end of all your journey of thinking that you have to have more knowledge, it all comes back full circle to less is the reality of what God wants for us. We only need to obey because obey to obey is better than sacrifice and the knowledge that we think we have to have really boils down to the simplicity of a child to simply trust and obey. And when we do, it doesn't get any easier than that. Then it's like a roller coaster ride that's fun to enjoy because you can either be terrified of what God is doing or you can enjoy it. The choice is yours. The children enjoy it because they don't know to fear. So at some point in time, if you can simplify your life, then try doing that today. Make it easy and you may find it's a better way to go than the one that you might have started the day with today.